In today's video, we will do some numerical problems on application of simple and partial derivatives in economics. We shall apply the mathematical tool of simple and partial derivatives to the concept of point elasticity in economics. Let us solve the first problem. In the solution, we will write down given supply function Q equals A plus B P square plus R to the power 1 by 2 where A is less than 0 and B is greater than 0. Here Q is a function of two independent variables price P and rainfall R. We need to find the price elasticity of supply denoted by E subscript Q P and rainfall elasticity of supply which is denoted by E subscript Q R. Let us first find the price elasticity of supply. The price elasticity of supply denoted by E subscript QP is equal to marginal function by average function. Now since the supply function Q is a function of two independent variables price P and rainfall R, in order to find the marginal function of Q with respect to P, R must be held constant. That is, in order to find the marginal function of Q with respect to P, we need to partially differentiate Q with respect to P while holding R as constant. So the marginal function of Q with respect to P is equal to dou Q by dou P. That is partial derivative of Q with respect to P. The average function is obtained by dividing Q by P. Let us find the marginal function. The marginal function dou Q by dou P that is partial derivative of Q with respect to P is equal to partial derivative with respect to P of A plus B P square plus R to the power 1 by 2. Now using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to P of A plus B P square plus R to the power 1 by 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to P of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to P of the second term plus partial derivative with respect to P of the third term. Now in the given supply function, A and B are constant parameters. Using the constant function, the partial derivative with respect to P of constant A is equal to 0 plus using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to P of B P square is equal to B times partial derivative with respect to P of P square. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to P, R must be treated as a constant. Plus, using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to P of R to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 0. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to P of P square is equal to 2P. Therefore, the marginal function dou Q by dou P is equal to 2BP. Let us now find the average function. The average function is obtained by dividing Q by P. Here Q is the supply function which is equal to A plus B P square plus R to the power 1 by 2. Let us now substitute the marginal function and average function in the price elasticity of supply formula. The marginal function dou Q by dou P is equal to 2B P. The average function Q by P is equal to A plus B P square plus R to the power 1 by 2 by P. By converting division into multiplication we have 2B P times P by A plus B P square plus R to the power 1 by 2. 2 B P times P equals 2 B P square by A plus B P square plus R to the power 1 by 2. Therefore, the price elasticity of supply denoted by E subscript Q P is equal to 2 B P square by A plus B P square plus R to the power 1 by 2. Let us now find 
the rainfall elasticity of supply the rainfall elasticity of supply which is denoted by e subscript qr is equal to marginal function by the average function the supply function q is equal to a plus b p square plus r to the power 1 by 2 now the given supply function q is a function of two independent variables price p and rainfall r in order to find the marginal function of q with respect to r we need to find the derivative of q with respect to r while holding p as constant that is we need to partially differentiate q with respect to r while holding p as constant so the marginal function of q with respect to r while holding p as constant is equal to dou q by dou r the average function is obtained by dividing q by r let us find the marginal function the marginal function dou q by dou r that is partial derivative of q with respect to r is equal to partial derivative with respect to r of a plus b p square plus r to the power 1 by 2 using the sum and difference rule the partial derivative with respect to r of a plus b p square plus r to the power 1 by 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to r of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to r of the second term plus partial derivative with respect to r of the third term now in the given supply function a and b are constant parameters the partial derivative with respect to r of constant a is equal to zero now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to r p must be treated as a constant plus using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to r of b p square is equal to zero plus using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to r of r to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 r to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 1 by 2 minus 1 equals minus 1 by 2 by using the rules of exponent r to the power minus 1 by 2 can also be written as 1 by r to the power 1 by 2 therefore the marginal function dou q by dou r is equal to 1 by 2 r to the power 1 by 2 let us now find the average function the average function is obtained by dividing q by r here q is the supply function which is equal to a plus b p square plus r to the power 1 by 2 let us now substitute the marginal function and average function in the rainfall elasticity of supply formula the marginal function dou q by dou r is equal to 1 by 2 r to the power 1 by 2 the average function q by r is equal to a plus b p square plus r to the power 1 by 2 by r by converting division into multiplication we have 1 by 2 r to the power 1 by 2 times r by a plus b p square plus r to the power 1 by 2 1 times r equals r 2 r to the power 1 by 2 times a plus b p square plus r to the power 1 by 2 by using the rules of exponent 1 by r to the power 1 by 2 can also be written as r to the power minus 1 by 2 so we can transfer r to the power 1 by 2 so in the denominator we are left with 2 within bracket a plus b p square plus r to the power 1 by 2 again by using the rules of exponent r to the power 1 times r to the power minus 1 by 2 is equal to r to the power 1 plus minus 1 by 2 plus times minus equals minus 1 by 2 r to the power 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to r to the power 1 by 2
टू टू टाइम्स ए इक्वल्स टू ए प्लस टू टाइम्स बी पी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू बी पी स्क्वायर प्लस टू टाइम्स आर टू द पावर वन बाय टू इक्वल्स टू टाइम्स आर टू द पावर वन बाय टू दे फॉर द रेनफॉल इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ सप्लाई डिनोटेड बाय ई सब्सक्रिप्ट क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू आर टू द पावर वन बाय टू बाय टू ए प्लस टू बी पी स्क्वायर प्लस टू आर टू द पावर वन बाय टू लेट एस नाउ सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम टू इन द सोल्यूशन वी विल राइट डाउन गिवेन फॉर इन डिमांड फंक्शन एक्स इक्वल्स वाई सब्सक्रिप्ट एफ टू द पावर वन बाय टू प्लस पी टू द पावर माइनस टू द फॉर इन डिमांड फंक्शन एक्स इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टू इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स फॉर इन इनकम वाई सब्सक्रिप्ट एफ एंड डोमेस्टिक प्राइस लेवल पी We need to find the partial elasticity of foreign demand with respect to the domestic price level, which is denoted by E subscript X P. The partial elasticity of foreign demand for exports with respect to domestic price level, which is denoted by E subscript X P, is equal to marginal function by average function. The foreign demand function X. is a function of two independent variables foreign income y subscript f and domestic price level p in order to find the marginal function of x with respect to p we need to find the derivative of x with respect to p while holding y subscript f as constant that is we need to partially differentiate x with respect to p while holding y subscript f as constant the marginal function of x with respect to p is equal to do x by do p The average function is obtained by dividing x by p. Let us find the marginal function. The marginal function do x by do p, that is partial derivative of x with respect to p, is equal to partial derivative with respect to p of y subscript f to the power one by two plus p to the power minus two. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to p. Of y subscript f to the power one by two plus p to the power minus two is equal to partial derivative with respect to p of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to p of the second term. Now, since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to p, y subscript f must be treated as constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to p of y subscript f to the power One by two is equal to zero. Plus, using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to p of p to the power minus two is equal to minus two p to the power minus three. Plus times minus equals minus two p to the power minus three. By using the rules of exponent, p to the power minus three can also be written as one by p to the power three. Let us now find the average function. The average function is obtained by dividing x by p. Here, x is the foreign demand function, which is equal to y subscript f to the power one by two plus p to the power minus two. Let us now substitute the marginal function and average function in the partial elasticity of foreign demand formula. The marginal function do x by do p is equal to minus two by p to the power three or p cube. The average function x by p is equal to y subscript f to the power one by two plus p to the power minus two by p. By converting division into multiplication, we have minus two by p cube times p by y subscript f to the power 1 by 2 plus p to the power minus 2 minus 2 times p equals minus 2 p p cube times y subscript f to the power 1 by 2 plus p to the power minus 2 now p in the numerator can be cancel out with p in the denominator so we are left with minus 2 by p square times y subscript f to the power 
1 by 2 plus p to the power minus 2 p square times y subscript f to the power 1 by 2 is equal to p square y subscript f to the power 1 by 2 plus p square times p to the power minus 2 by using the rules of exponent p to the power 2 times p to the power minus 2 is equal to p to the power 2 plus minus 2 plus times minus equals minus 2 p to the power 2 minus 2 equals 0 p raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 so p to the power 2 times p to the power minus 2 equals 1 therefore the partial elasticity of foreign demand for exports with respect to domestic price level which is denoted by e subscript xp is equal to minus 2 by p square y subscript f to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 